Hey everyone, this is Joanne Del Balso with No Fuss Accounting Services, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to uh, invoice a customer or a client for a reimbursable expense in which you would like to charge a markup percentage on it. Um, have a, had a few emails and phone calls um, past month um, on this particular request so I thought it would be a popular video to uh, put out there for the masses to take advantage of. So the first thing we want to um, explain when we go to do a reimbursable expense is we want to make sure we're checking our chart of accounts to have the correct account set up for us to be able to do this process. And I'm using the sample consulting business, but obviously you can make these accounts set up easily in your own chart of accounts. Um, the first line item we set up is an income item, and it's called, I like to call it markup on reimbursable expenses. You can just call it markup income, um, whatever is more familiar term for you. And, and that is going to be just the markup price only. So if you, uh, got something for $100 and you marked it up 40% and you're billing the client for $140, uh, the $40 income would show up on this line only. The second item we want to make sure we have is an item called reimbursable expenses that is a cost of goods sold number. This is this way when you purchase something it's going to hit this account when you invoice the client this account will zero out and then the markup will show up as income. And this way you can be able to track it throughout the year. So let me just run through you quick the process of how to do it. Um, most of the time when you are doing a, a bill, you're writing a check or you're doing in QuickBooks the enter bill, pay bill. For this sample, I'm just going to use the write check scenario. And I've already have this preset up here, but you'll see that we just use an unknown payee for $100. The expense account you're going to want to choose is the reimbursable expenses, cost of goods sold account, and $100. And you'll see that I put a memo. I actually typed in a nice descriptive memo, and there's a reason why we're going to do this. This memo actually kicks into your invoice, so it'll help with the description. Um, what we want to make sure we choose the right customer, and then you want to make sure that this box is marked for billable. And then we're going to hit save and close. Okay. The next step is when we go to invoice, we're going to do create invoice, use pick choose that customer, and to select the outstanding billable time, the first option, hit OK. Then we're going to jump over to the second tab, which is our expense tab, and you'll see this is where the markup shows. So you want to choose your percentage here, and then the markup account is going to be that income account we previously set up, the markup on reimbursable expenses. You're going to click this line item. That is the purchase that we that has been coded to that particular customer. And then down here at the bottom, if you do not want to show your client or customer that markup percentage, you want to make sure you click this box that all of this time and cost will show up as one invoice item. So this is where it gets kind of confusing and tricky is that the way the markup works, you have to use either all 40% or if you want to do a different markup for a different line item, you have to do separate invoices. Uh, there's really no way to be able to combine multiple uh, markup percentages. You'll have to do them each one at a time. And I'll do a separate video to be able to explain to you how to do that. Um, but for the simplicity purposes, we're going to click this OK. And you'll see that it does show up on this screen, but when we go to preview it, the markup percentage will not show up. So the next step, we just simply want to hit copy and paste on this memo, and we want to put it on this last line because that's actually the line that's going to be printing out for the client to see. And we'll do a quick preview to show you, and you see how that shows up here. Purchased, and then the 140 without the percentage showing. So in just in, in ending this, I just want to show you quick the profit and loss for this particular event. You'll see we have the markup is going to show up here underneath the income account and then the reimbursable expenses are going to show up underneath the cost of goods sold item. So that's about it. If you have any questions, um, please leave me a comment or email me at info at nofussaccounting.com. Thank you.